my name is Ellen and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Wildest Dreams by Taylor Swift on the guitar. So stay tuned if this is something that you want to learn. So to play this song in the original key that Taylor Swift sings it in, you will need to put your capo on the first fret. If you don't have one, you can play this entire song without one and it'll just be a half step lower than Taylor Swift sings it. I can't get over how simple this song is. There's only five chords in the whole song and I only have two strumming patterns to show you guys. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with the chords. And he does it so well, I can see the end as it begins. Alright, so like I said, there's only five chords you need to know for the whole song. And the first one is C, which looks like this and sounds like this. And then after that you need to know E minor, which looks like this, and sounds like this. Then you need to know D, which looks like this, and sounds like this. Then you need to know G, which looks like this, and sounds like this. you need to know is A minor, which looks like this, and sounds like this. And there you have it. Those are the five chords you need to know to play the song. Alright, so once you have all of those chords memorized and you can transition between them, then let's go ahead and move on to the strumming patterns that I've come up with. Wildest dreams, ah, ah. So usually this is the part of the tutorial where I tell you the first strumming pattern, which is the practice pattern, which is just one downstroke on each chord on the downbeat. But instead of this being just a practice pattern, I'm actually going to be using it throughout the song as pattern number one. So let's go ahead and see what this sounds like. If you put your C chord on, that's the first chord in the song, and all we're going to do is we're going to play each chord once with a downstroke. So we have C, E minor, D, and then you let D ring for a while. C, E minor, D, and I'm using it all downstrokes. He said, let's get out of this town, drive out of the city, away from the crowds. I thought heaven can't help me now, nothing lasts forever. Sorry, as you can tell, the song is really low and really high for my voice, but um, that's just how simple the first strumming pattern is. So you want to go ahead and do that for the whole song so you know where all those chord transitions are going to be. And then once you have all those transitions down, I'm going to teach you a cool, fast way to dress up this strumming pattern. And all we're going to be doing for it is after you strum the downstroke on each chord, I'm just taking my middle finger and I'm tapping right on my guitar underneath the sound hole. And it leaves this kind of deep ringing, like, Sound. I don't know. I think it mimics the song pretty well because at the beginning all you really hear is that orchestral part with the beat. So I think that this song is going to be really important for you to keep rhythm as much as it is to know the chords because a lot of this song is very static with the chords but what gives it a little bit of difference between the verses and the choruses and stuff is the rhythm. So now let's go ahead and add two of those taps right after every chord that we strum down with. So we have C, and then now I'm going to add those taps, and then we go to E minor, taps, and then D. And then 
then for D, since we hold it out twice as long, we're going to do four taps. Okay, so let me do that a little faster. We have C, E minor, D, again. So you can already start to hear how our tapping is kind of mimicking the rhythm in the song. Now if you want to, you could use this strumming pattern for the entire song. I think it actually sounds pretty good that way. But just in case you want to make a little bit of a difference between the verses and the choruses, I'll go ahead and show you another strumming pattern. So here it is, my next pattern. It's very simple, it's just down, 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 up. And what I like to do is I like to use this for all of the choruses. So if you put your G chord on, that's the first chord in our chorus. And we're going to play down, 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 up. Down, 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 up. Okay, why don't you practice that with me? Down, 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 up. Down, 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 up. Down, 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 up. Down, 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 up. Pretty simple, right? Now all we have to do is add in those chord transitions. So we're going to go G, down, down, up, D, down, down, up, A minor, down, down, up, C, down, down, up. Say you remember me standing in watch a lot of my tutorials you'll notice that I don't usually use a pick just because I prefer using my thumb and picking on the guitar with my fingers but in this particular song I actually think it sounds better if you don't use a pick because then the chords there's something different about when you play with your thumb versus when you play with a pick with a pick it's a little bit more attacked and I think it just sounds a little bit better if you use your thumb, if you can, if you can weather through the pain and make sure that you get that callus formed. Um, I would just suggest using your thumb to make it a little bit softer to mimic the song because the song is a little bit softer. Alright, so once you have all of the chords memorized and you have the different strumming patterns down and you've chosen which ones you'd like to use, then let's go ahead and play through the whole song and I will list all of the lyrics and chord changes and everything in front of you, as well as what strumming patterns I'll be using in this top corner. Um, so yeah, whenever you're ready, let's continue and play through Wildest Dreams by Taylor Swift. Good luck! It's just in your wildest dreams.
the sunset, babe Red lips and rosy cheeks Say you'll see me again Even if it's just pretend Say you'll remember me Standing in a nice dress Staring at the sunset, babe Red lips and rosy cheeks Say you'll see me again Even if it's just So thank you guys so much for watching my tutorial. I hope that I was able to help you even if it was just a little bit. And again, I apologize for my singing. This song is really low and really high for me, so it's not really within my range, but I tried my best for you guys. And um, if you are still in the guitar playing mood, then feel free to click on one of these playlists and it'll take you to all of the other tutorials that I've made so far. And also if you want to, you can follow me on any of my social media sites. And I'm really excited because my YouTube channel just reached over 250,000 subscribers. That is a quarter of a million subscribers, which is just amazing. Like I can't even explain to you how excited I am about that. So I'm thinking about doing something special for you guys soon. So stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, again, thanks so much for watching. I really hope it helped and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Sweet.